The objective within this lesson is to relate decimal and fraction multiplication. Here we have 3.1 times 2.4. Let's rewrite this as a fraction expression. That's 31 tenths times how many tenths? Right, 24 tenths. Before we work this problem out, let's estimate what our product should be close to. 3 and 1 tenth is close to 3, and 2 and 4 tenths is close to 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So our answer should be around 6. Let's see what our actual answer is. What do we get when we multiply tenths by tenths? Right, we get hundredths. Let's work out the rest of this problem using that unit form. So we had 31 tenths times 24 tenths. So we know that we're getting hundredths, that's what we had stated, and all we need to do is to multiply 31 times 24. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, I will place a 0, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. Adding those together, I get 744 hundredths. And so, we have this here, 744 hundredths, which as a decimal is written 7.44. That's 7 and 44 hundredths. Now, why is it that our estimate was 6, right? So that was about 3 times 2, which equals 6. Let's think. 3.1, yeah, we put it down to 3, and 2.4, we went down to 2, so our estimate of 6 would have been lower than our actual answer. So again, what we did is we took those decimal factors and we expressed them as fractions and we solved. Here's another problem. We have 2 and 8 tenths times 6 tenths equaling, hmm, let's rewrite this as fractions, that's 28 tenths times 6 tenths. And so, when we multiply by tenths by tenths, we get hundredths. And all we need to do is to multiply those numerators together. That's 28 times 6. 8, regroup of 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. So we have 168. That was that product of 28 times 6. I'm just going to write that out just so that you can see that. And so we have 168 hundredths. Expressing that in standard form as that decimal, that's 1 and 68 hundredths. Written as a decimal as 1.68. Yes, just as before, we could have expressed this within unit form. It would have been 28 tenths times 6 tenths. We would have had our same answer of 168. And as we had stated before, when we multiply tenths by tenths, we do get hundredths. And we can express that as a decimal as 1.68. Some of you have been rewriting this as 1 and 68 hundredths, writing that improper fraction as a mixed number, then expressing it as a decimal. That's also a good strategy to use. Here we have a problem for you to try. We have 4.7 times 0 0.5, also read as, read it with me, 
4 and 7 tenths times 5 tenths. Solve it not, use, not only using a fractions approach, but also a unit form approach, knowing that you should get that same answer. Go ahead and pause the video to do your work. Did you break it apart using that fractions approach correctly? It would be 47 tenths times 5 tenths, which does equal, we have hundredths, and we'd have to work out 47 times 5. 5 regroup of 3, 20 plus 3 is 23, that's 235 hundredths. And so that is a mixed number of 2 and 35 over 100, which equals 2.35. So our answer should be 2.35. Using the unit form approach, you should have gotten that same answer. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. And when we multiply tenths by tenths, we do get hundredths. 235 hundredths, that's 2.35 as that decimal. So we're relating fraction multiplication with decimal multiplication. Here is another problem. We have 4 and 6 tenths times 28 hundredths. So now we're actually multiplying tenths by hundredths. And when we multiply tenths by hundredths, 10 times 100 is 1,000, so we get thousandths. If we were to use that unit form approach, then that would be 46 tenths times 28 hundredths. And just as I just stated, when we multiply tenths by hundredths, yes, we will get thousandths. And so we could work that out. 8 times 6 is 48. 8, regroup the 4. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36. Cross out the regroup. Place a 0, because I am working with that 2, which is worth 20. 2 times 6 is 12. 2, regroup a 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And I carefully add those together. That's 8. 8 and 12, so 1,288 thousandths. We know that 1,000 thousandths is 1. Placing our decimal point carefully, we have 1.288 as our answer. This is actually... This is a reasonable answer in that if we did an estimate for this product, 4 and 6 tenths, is close to 5, and then we have 0 0.28 here, which is actually close to 3 tenths, if we rounded to the nearest tenths place, and 5 times 3 tenths would be 1 and 5 tenths. It would be 15 tenths, which is also equal to 1.5. You'll notice that we went up here, we actually went up here, so our product and our estimated product is higher than our actual product. So that over here is that unit form approach. If we were to use the fraction approach, we should come with, to that same answer. 4 and 6 tenths, 4.6 is equal to 46 tenths. We have 0 0.28, which is equal to 28 hundredths. And again, we're multiplying those two numbers, 46 times 28, just as we had done before. If we do that again over here, and we come to that same answer, then it is likely that we did not make a mistake in working it through on the other side. We have 1,288 over 1,000. That's also read 1,288 thousandths. That could be written as that mixed number, and then we can write it in standard form. One. 
written as 1.288, also read as 1 and 288 thousandths. So we have a fractions approach, and we have that unit form approach, and we are relating decimal multiplication with fraction multiplication.